three minute blitz game zero increment Quick and dirty tactics. Damn, everybody's at it. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Could have lost my bishop there.
Damn, how's he escaping? <laughs> 18 seconds left. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 10 seconds left I've got. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, would you Adam and Eve it? Five seconds. Four. Oh, sha! Just in time. Checkmate. Wow. <laughs> Oh my days, quick and dirty tactics, everybody's kicking it in, aren't they? Let's run through this one. Unbelievable. Right, where are we at? Let's go. Yeah, so in the shorter games, the quick and dirty tactics probably um, may win out more so because you, you tend not to have long enough time to think of, well, what's the impact, etc. <coughs> But I think if you're kind of used to the pattern type things that are going on, you can try and circumvent it sometimes. So we captured, and then they came with the massive move here. As you can see, the opponent will know as well that, you know, they're going to lose a piece, but they try and gain some sort of disturbance towards your king area. Um, but we have seen this maneuver many times. And so just bring the king into safety. And it's a matter of how we jostle here. I'm just wanting to see if the gauge bag uh, kicks our butt here. So we captured. Queen came down. Knight attacks. Captured the knight. Repositioned the bishop. Oops. Damn, that went too far. Let's go again here. Da, 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 da. Okay, so the queen captured. So gauge bar still working with us. Moving the king out of the way. So we're up a minor piece out of all of that, but that's because the opponent did the sacrifice in order to potentially improve their position on the board. As you can see, our king is jammed in here. The other rook is not in the game. So that's the kind of rationale as to why they do this sort of thing. Because at the end of the day, they've got active pieces that are out. <coughs> whilst I've only got three pieces that are potentially out but my king hasn't got castled so it's not really safe so that's the reason why they do those sort of quick moves but if you're used to it you kind of like i brought my king out now to give space for my rook doesn't like that that's why i'm looking at this evaluation because i'm going well i got out of that but how so i brought the rook here so then it's basically saying rook f3 where's f3 on here Oh, they missed that. Did they? Did they miss it? Yeah, they did. They captured the pawn. Yeah, so Rook F3 would have um, kicked our butts. Because if I'd have gone here, then his Rook takes, and then he's still on my king, queen. So he gets my queen. Okay, so a mini celebration, but not celebration. But the opponent didn't see it because of the time frame. If they had longer, they probably would have seen that. Okay, so what should we have done? Looked for the exchange of the queen. Simple, because obviously maybe the rook. Yeah, should have just looked for the exchange. It's really weird because normally the computers don't like going for the queen exchanges. But I suppose in a way we can trade down now because we have the bishop extra. Yeah, I didn't see that in the game at all. So we brought the rook here. And then they captured, so that was a bit of an uh, error. So I did wonder why the queen was down here, because it wasn't doing any damage there. Okay, so we doubled up. Doesn't like the doubling either, so what was the thing? King g8. Oh, moving the king. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, well I'm feeling, I'm feeling the pressure, so I'm not wanting to go around the back and get his rook off the board. But then obviously they misplaced their queen at this stage. So then it's um, more simplified in a sense. So at that point. So the time factor um, actually 
hurt the opponent more so than ourselves but we did have a bad position our queen could have been taken off the board but at the end of the day we circumvented the dirty tactics and really understanding the difference between the answer process and dirty tactics um, is quite key for me um, a bit miffed about that rook move there and having the potential for them to put the check on my queen I've got to watch those sort of things there but this is where we do evaluation but yeah um, another game where somebody's using the quick and dirty tactics type thing um, it's it's all the rage apparently but if you can circumvent it it is quite pleasing